Hello friends, welcome to Joy of Life. So before we proceed with this episode, what I would like to tell you is that if you have not seen the system design introduction video, wherein we have discussed about the architecture of this mini project that we are building, I would highly recommend you to check the same. I will leave a link to the description as well so that you can click, check the same and then get back onto the video. So in the previous video, we have created the Docker container out of our spring producer service called url service url feeder service rather and we saw that when we are posting some urls like abc.com it was coming into the topic right and we have the console consumer and we are able to consume it right so this time what we are going to do is we are going to spin up a new service for the consumer so it's not a service it's basically a worker which is going to listen to the topic get the url and do the needful things so let's head over and let's create the same so we are here in start.spring.io and we are going to use this same again in order to come up with the new service so once again it's java maven project and we are going to use 2.4.6 we used previously right so it's not a problem we can use a new one 2.5.0 and we are going to create our service over here and let's say the name of our service is html file worker and we are also going to give a package over here so we are going to specify the group over here so it's com.joyoflife the same group and this is also going to be your html file worker and let's get this into lowercase html file worker same name right and next we are going to go ahead and add the dependencies so packaging is jar is fine java 11 is fine the package name everything is fine we can put a description over here before we add the dependencies html file parser and we are going to add the dependencies and we are just going to use kafka for now so spring apache kafka is the one that we are going to use it we are not going to use streams so we have that dependency over here added and we are going to generate the project and we are going to go ahead and save the html file worker zip file so i have copied the zip over here we are going to just extract it here and we are going to get rid of the zip file because we have the project already and we are going to open this in intellij so let's head over to intellij and uh, click on open so we need to choose the folder and we just need to click on open and uh, we cross this project of course and we are going to open this in a new window so it's being loaded up as you see it's uh, not loaded yet and the dependencies are getting resolved so let it happen first so you can see over here the dependencies are resolved and our worker is ready over here and once again in the form this time you will have the spring kafka by itself because we have chosen it during our initialization process right we don't have the web because we are not exposing any endpoint over here so let's head over to src main and um, check out what we have so this is our application file over here and what we are going to do over here is to enable kafka first you can use this annotation enable kafka so that it knows that there is a kafka listener inside it so it's it's required when you have a consumer right we didn't we didn't do this for the producer right because it was just calling the method but here we need a listener so let's go ahead and create a service so let's create a package first and then let's call this as a listener and inside this listener we have a html worker you can name it anything you want uh, for now i'm just keeping it simple and over here we are going to create a method called consume which will get a message this is the message that we wanted to print and uh, for now let's say we are just going to do a shout and uh, we'll do a receive message so we'll put a receive message followed by the message that we receive over here and here we are going to tell it that this is a kafka listener right and uh, when you give a kafka listener two things are important the first thing is that you need to tell the topic to which you'll be listening so we are listening to a topic over here if you remember the 
so the name of our topic is html underscore topic so we are going to go ahead and give the same over here and also we need to provide a group id so for now let's keep it simple and keep it as group id only nothing else is required right and we are going to go over to the application properties and add a bunch of properties over here like our producer but here we need a little more than that so first uh, property that we need is to tell the group id so we'll specify it over here so this time if you notice we are giving spring kafka consumer followed by the group id right so we need to specify the same group id that we have given over here group underscore id the same that is over here and also you need to tell like you wanted to read from the earliest message that's present or from the latest so you can put it as latest or earliest so let's have it earliest so if we do earliest what will happen is these messages that were that were there right initially should show up and the next one is our bootstrap server so it will be listening to that same bootstrap server port so this is nothing but our broker over here and uh, in the consumer what we have done is we have configured a bunch of serializers right which were string serializers if you remember so let's revisit that so if we have done these two setup over here right so when you consume a message what you need to do is you need to deserialize it right so we need to add the deserializer for our consumer so let's go ahead and add them so these are the two deserializers so nothing but the string deserializer only the same thing and enable and put component scan so that it scans for everything inside the application and uh, we should also enable auto configuration so that our application is configured properly by the spring itself so firstly what we need to do is the same thing that we have done for our project as well so we need to add a docker file over here it's going to be the very same thing that we are going to do over here also we need to change the name so we'll open pom.xml and here we in the build section what we are going to do is we are going to give a final name right so let's give some short name let's call it html worker right so over to the docker file let's copy this configuration directly from here this is going to change the names over here so we are going to put it as html worker instead of your lpd service and let's copy paste this name over here is to add the port where you want to run this so let's add that so we are going to run this in 8084 port that we have configured over here so once we are done with this we'll head over to the console and we are going to build the jar so our jar is ready now we need to build the image so the name is html worker and we are using the docker file in order to build it So the image is ready now we need to run it so we are going to run on 8084 port so let's run it and check so you can see over here that all the messages has been consumed right so here we have the console consumer over here and these are the application logs so let's go over and post something so let's say youtube.com and let's see if it comes everywhere or not so you can see both the consumer has got the message right both has consumed it let's do it one more time in order to confirm so let's put stack overflow and let's test it and you can see that immediately it's appearing in the console this is our application console and this is our consumer right so this is how you build a consumer right so this is all from the tutorial we have already seen the code over here and uh, the configuration you can see it's a bare minimum configuration that you need to do easily we can spin up the application just using a few of the configs right so this is where spring is so useful right so it it does thing automatically so many things all the configuration boilerplate code is already being taken care by the spring right 
so going forward we are going to discuss even more complicated topics and understand them in much more details so uh, that is all from the kafka tutorial part and i think you have got a good understanding of how to use the kafka how to run it in the docker how to spin up multiple images so if you see over here that we have so many images right so we have seen all of them working together and how they work together and how to configure them and all the details if you have any questions do let me know there was so much of new learning and thanks to my friend who has helped me in configuring the bridges where we are facing a lot of problem it took me one or two days to resolve it because even i didn't have a great understanding on them so thanks to him as well for helping me out and i could share the same knowledge when i googled about it i did not find much to be really honest so we need to do a real hands-on in order to understand them so i hope this tutorial will enable you to a great extent you'll have a good understanding of why things aren't working when there are no errors also the broker is not found and things like that so yes yeah, stay tuned for more videos so we'll be targeting kubernetes the next and much more advanced topics so stay tuned stay subscribed share with your friends to help the channel grow and yeah that's all from this video take care stay safe and bye bye